Hi, this is Additional Mathematics from 5, Chapter 3 Integration, Formative Exercise 3.1. Okay, so let's go straight to the first question. You're given y equals to 3, 2x plus 2 cubed. You're supposed to find dy dx. Now remember in Chapter 2, you've learned how to differentiate and this involving uh, composite function. Uh, remember, if you have y equals to k with a bracket fx power n, so when you differentiate, you want to bring the power in front copy the bracket, reduce the power by 1, and differentiate whatever in the bracket. So in this case, when I differentiate dy dx, I take 3 times 3, which is 9. I copy the bracket 2x plus 2, reduce the power by 1, 2. As I differentiate inside the bracket, differentiate 2x, I'll get 2. Uh. So this will give us 18 with 2x plus 2 squared. Now, subsequently, you're supposed to find uh, the integral of 18 over uh, 18 2x plus 2 square dx. Now remember, differentiation and integration are just the opposite process. So when I differentiate, let's say, fx, and I'll get gx, when you integrate gx, I'll get back fx plus c. Yeah? So in this case, when I integrate 18 2x plus 2 square dx, right? Because you can see uh, this is the same as whatever I'm finding here. I will get back the original function, which is my y, 3, 2x plus 2, power 3, plus c. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, all right, moving on to question number 2. So here we have to differentiate, and this question involves quotient rule. Now remember, if y equals to u over v, when you differentiate, you copy v, differentiate u, copy u, differentiate v, v squared, yeah, it's v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. Now in this case, my v will be 2 minus 3x, my u prime will be just 5, minus copy my u, 5x plus 2, differentiate my v, I get negative 3, divide by 2 minus 3x squared. So as I expand the bracket, I'll get 10 minus 15x plus 15x, now you have the times in 1 by 1, so negative times negative is positive 3, 3 times 5x is 15x, then the negative times the 2 here, and times the negative 3 here, so it's going to give us positive 6 over 2 minus 3x squared. Now, as you can simplify this 15, and you notice you can cancel the 15, x and 15x, now you're left with 16 over 2 minus 3x squared. Okay, so that is the first answer. Okay, by the way, I should write f prime x. I follow the question. The question gives us fx. So when you differentiate, it's f prime x. So I just use the same notation, f prime x. Okay, how do you find integration of f prime x dx? Now, like I said earlier, it's the same thing. Just, just use the result. Okay, when I integrate f prime x, which is 16, 2 minus 3x squared dx, I'll get back the original function. My original function is 5x plus 2 over 2 minus 3x plus c. Yeah, that's all. Eh? Okay, so let's move on to the next part. Okay, question number 3. Okay, so in question number 3, you're given y. Again, it's in the form of a composite function. So, yeah, you notice that it's a composite function. Eh? k bracket fx power n. So when I differentiate dy dx, I bring the power down, 3 times 5, I get 15. I copy my bracket, reduce the power by 1, differentiate inside, I get 1. Eh? Remember, there's a x inside. When you differentiate x, you get 1. So I just write the 1 so that you all remember that, because sometimes some students tend to forget that we actually have to differentiate inside. Although in this case, when you differentiate inside, you're getting 1, which when you multiply 15, you still get 15. Okay. Now, let's compare this two. Now, this is the same as your hx plus 2 power k. So we can say that k, uh, h is now 15 and k is now 2. And the value of h plus k is now 15 plus 2, which is 17. Right. So the next thing is you're finding the value of integration of dy dx dx times 1 over 10 and when x equals to 2. All right, so maybe I'll just write this, uh, integration your function, uh, I'll just copy like dy dx, bracket dx. So we know that when you differentiate uh, your y, you get dy dx. When you integrate your dy dx, you get back your y, which is 
5 and the x plus 2 power 3 yeah that's it right but in this case because they say sub x with 2 so we just have to put 2 inside all right so 2 plus 2 cube 2 plus 2 is 4 4 cube is 64 64 um maybe i can cancel this huh? yes so cancel this is 2 so it's 64 divided by 2 answers 32 you can just use a calculator to to verify the answer okay moving on to question number four okay now when you differentiate fx now you notice that in this case uh, this is the term with x now if it's a constant we can use composite function but it's not a constant this uh, the number in front of bracket has a term in x so we have to use uv that that is the product rule right remember uh, in this case maybe i write u by dx is u v prime plus v u prime or now i always like to use u v prime u prime v copy differentiate differentiate copy because it will be automatically arranged okay uh, however okay let's, let's just do this first out and i'll explain to you why eh? so your u is 3x your v prime will be bring the power down copy the bracket reduce the power by one differentiate yeah? remember this is involving bracket composite function then you copy your uh, differentiate your u differentiate 3x you get 3 copy your bracket now the first thing i'll, I'll have in mind is that i want to factorize them but then i realize that this answer can you see is not in the factorized form right so you can actually expand and simplify now if you want to factorize also can you can take out 2x plus 1 yeah you can still take out 3 here right okay maybe i, I write one extra step for you so it's easier for you to see and now this is actually um 12x with a 2x plus 1 and this is 3 with a 2x plus 1 square remember in the chapter differentiation you learn how to factorize an expression like this we take out 3 and we take out 2x plus 1 so you're left with 4x plus 2x plus 1 now this will give us 2x plus 1 and a 6x plus 1 now if you don't want to expand it's okay the don't want to factorize okay just expand uh, all this bracket one by one yeah because I like i said i can see the final answer should be somewhat in this form yeah okay not in a factorized form okay so um to use the result for later part i need to expand this bracket so this is 12x squared or we can expand this one by one huh? so this will be 8x and plus one which is exactly the same as what we have here now we know when i integrate this function okay which i have to write 12 x squared 8x plus 1 dx i'll get back my original function fx which is 3x and 2x plus 1 squared now but take note eh? there's no 3 in front here look at the uh, integration that you're finding there's no 3 in front here so we have to divide it right okay so when you divide um okay i tell you what because the question here gives us in the form of fx maybe it's better i write my fx yeah it's less confusing eh? my fx is just 3x with 2x plus 1 squared so i want to find the value of a now notice that we can divide both sides by 3 so this is 12x squared plus 8x plus 1 dx and this will be 1 over fx so therefore what's your a a is supposed to be 1 over 3 so by right we should use a plus c like, but the question has no plus c so i just don't want to use to add plus c so normally when you differentiate and when you in, i mean when you integrate any expression any function you will have to have a plus c at the back yeah but this question doesn't give you a plus c so i just ignore it right and by comparison you can find a is just one of the three okay next let's move on to question number five yeah i think this is the last one yeah now the profit function from the sale of bus ticket of company k is given by this uh, a equals to 100 t squared plus 50 t cubed a equals to 100 t squared 50 t cubed where a is the profit obtained yeah in rm so 
t is a time in days find the rate of profit obtained by the bus company after five days so just differentiate d a d t yeah so rate means d a d t so you bring the power down two hundred t uh, fifty times three hundred fifty reduce the power by one t square now after five days means d equals to five my d a d t will be two hundred times five hundred fifty five square okay so you just use your calculator yeah and you will get four thousand seven hundred and fifty okay second part so this is the rate of profit eh? actually if you want to write the the unit eh, you're supposed to write rm four thousand four thousand seven fifty per day eh? because time this is per day eh? okay the rate of profit okay given that the rate of profit obtained by another company bus company h is given by this so which company gets more profit so i can see it is somewhat related to the first function yeah you don't have to use any form of integration but you can see that um when i differentiate a i'll get the add right so when i integrate 200 t plus 150 t square dt i'll get back my a which is 100 t square plus 50 t cube now i know this question is a bit um how do i say they don't consider the c so i would just not plus c yeah although sometimes you know most of the time we have to put the plus c and sub in what we call the boundary condition but somehow the textbook don't consider c so we just assume that c is zero okay c is what we call the arbitrary constant so you look at your dadt here it is now 30 but what i have here is 200 now maybe i write this down for you uh, you notice that 40t plus 30t square i just rearrange it put the 40 at the back put the 30t square in front so how do you go from 200 to 40 well i can just divide by 5 right so when i divide by 5 this will be 40t 150 divided by 5 is 30t square 100 divided by 5 is 20t square and this will be 10 t cubed so the profit um, function uh, for bus company h is now given as this i'm just using the result yeah you can see it is just five times less the company a a uh, company k sorry so now they say given that the rate of profit h is given blah blah which company gets more profit on the 10th day actually you can straight away say it's company k la. why because the function that we have here now this is company k this is company h you can see company k and company h company k's function is much smaller it's, in fact it's five times smaller right but okay just to be sure i'm going to sub in after 10 days yeah for company k when you put 10 inside this is 100 10 square 50 10 cube so company k will be 60,000 for company h if you put 10 inside square it yeah 10 cube uh, in fact you don't have to calculate this so you just take 60,000 divided by 5 because it's 5 times less so you should get 12,000 isn't it yeah you can see that it's actually 5 times less so what's your answer company k yeah company k will get more profit on the 10th day all right so uh that's it that's the end of this uh formative exercise